Hi you all, Dota Reactions here, and today we're going to watch another episode of Once Upon a Time. In fact, this is Season 3, Episode 18, titled Bleeding Through. So let's get into it. If you want your superpower to be envy, go right ahead. Envy is just another word for ambition. Well, that's just not true. See, I strive. <laughs> Absolutely to not. I work. What the hell? You. You cast a curse that was just a fancy form of running away. Or rather, the dark one could. Do you feel it, sis? He's taking your heart. <laughs> And I must apologize. You trusted me and I let you down. No, you didn't. Nothing's worth the loss of a child. But now we have a problem. I'm alive. I don't follow. She has my heart. Gold's taken it for her. And since she hasn't crushed it and killed me, that means she needs it for something far worse. I'm sorry, Belle. I really, really am. Where's the candle? Yeah, I'm not that Liberace. The two-sided <laughs> candle Snow used to kill Isn't my that mother. Where's that? It's or is it just... It's gone now. It's just a relic. Yes. Oh, that's... I didn't want you to... It's a royal crest. I wanted you to know me as me, not as Prince Jonathan. Prince Jonathan. But I will come back in two weeks. And turn this ring into gold. Well, I'll, I'll bring you a gold one. <laughs> Jeez, I have the feeling oh, engagements happen the castle very fast Cora. in this world. She was here gloating. She said that my weakness was that I don't know enough about her past. So I've decided to summon someone who does. We have to talk to my mother. It's easy to talk to the dead. Why not do it more? Well, because to do it, you need the murder weapon and the murderer. Sorry, love. That was me. I crossed my legs and bumped the table. Jeez. Oh, Ach, bro. You are a stubborn one, aren't you? Are you? A gardener? Well, I'm not Prince Jonathan. Of course, there is no Prince Jonathan. I'm with child. I'm going to have a baby. Zelina's father, okay. There may be no Prince Jonathan, but there is a prince. And how will he feel when I tell him what you've done? She didn't really What happened like to you? You were calling him. for help. She just wanted to be princess or he queen or something, so... She was abandoned on the road. Am I supposed to feel sorry for her? everything I had. I'm so sorry to hear that. Come with me. We'll do everything we can for you. I'm Prince Leopold. For Cora, for... Murdering her? Right. I think about it every day. So do I. And when I do think about it, I remember that she did kill your mother. To go. I should open hey. a franchise. Making it's progress. Impressive. You want to see something really impressive? <laughs> it's bad form of swamp tamper with a man's hook. Okay. That's not okay. What is up with you? He's dead. You watched him die. This isn't idle cruelty. I promise you. He's alive and waiting for you to find him. Find him where? Not where. In the past. When? going to change the past. It's against the fundamental laws of magic. <laughs> For good reason. Magic doesn't fail. People fail. Laws only exist until they're broken by someone. Superior. Her points of view are sometimes yeah. a little bit strange. <laughs> Yeah. 
she's never been a good mother, but now she even slaps her daughter. The hell? Or were you hoping to keep our baby a secret? What is it you want? Gold? Jewels? Mm. Yes, whatever you can get. Enough for me to live happily for the rest of my days, just like you wanted from me. Bring it here tomorrow night, and your secret shall remain just that. It will be done. Now leave before someone sees you. Can't she just pretend that it's the king's baby, but I guess they haven't had sex yet. Princess Eva, the carriage awaits. But if she wants to kill you, she's gonna have to go through me! This isn't about you. This is about her and me. What did you do to Zelina? Word has spread throughout the castle that... that you are with child. Princess Eva is here because she overheard your rendezvous in the garden yesterday. And just as I said, the miller's daughter is a worthless liar. Leopold! Don't let me go! Come, Eva. Help me break this terrible news to the king. She didn't want to give up Selena. She was forced to. By, by my mother, Princess Eva. Zelina is going back to kill my mother. Oh, okay. I've never been born. I'm guessing this is where your hope ends. I think it's rumored that means and Henry you have never been born. And, and Regina. Henry. And on this different path, Regina, you may not be either. It's a good thing no one's ever succeeded with this time travel nonsense. We're going to stop her. Since our baby's not born, she's stuck. And we have what we need time. But that looks... It's not very much of it. Yeah. Now I must give you away. To give me my best chance. As long as I have you. I can never be anything more than a miller's daughter. Yeah, and that's the reason why I don't agree with this. How the hell is she forced? Who forced her? But please don't forget that you have a girlfriend. Sorry, love. Afraid not. Never on the first date, I die. He just wanted the knife. Oh my god. I'm so proud I of him. Enjoy the taste. Because you just squandered your only chance to have your son. Oh, we would have found something to fight. I was such a brat. Your mother's child. I think we've wasted our last day being haunted by the past. Now we can focus on being haunted by our impending luck of the future. Lena isn't going to win, not with all of us united against her. Regina, I've seen what life has thrown at you. And you still fight against the darkness every single day. Sooner or later, your heart will find its way to happiness. That doesn't feel possible. But it is. I know you, and you feel things deeply with or without it. You feel things with your whole soul. Don't let anything hold you back. Jesus, what the hell was that? I will get it back. <sighs> so, that was Once Upon a Time Season 3, Episode 18, titled Bleeding Through. I liked this episode a lot. Jeez. That was a very, very good episode. Um, yeah... So the, just the thing I can't get over, um, I don't see how Cora was forced to give up Zelina, to be honest. Not really. She 
wasn't able to marry the king. Th that thing was totally done. It was done. And still she gave her up. Because she wanted to be like, I don't know. She wanted to become princess uh, or a queen. And there was no way for her to, do, to become a queen or a princess with a baby. So I absolutely don't see how she was forced to give her up. Or like they they were acting like Ava did something very cruel or very evil, but in my opinion she was kind of right to tell the king that his future queen yeah, was carrying a baby and not his. So I don't see that as evil. But okay, now we know what uh, Zelina is planning. She wants to kill Eva. I mean, I don't know Eva. Like in the Miller's daughter, she was a bitch. Eva was a bitch. So maybe that was af I guess that was after because that was the the story of Zelina, and the Miller's daughter was the story of. Not really Regina, but she had Regina at the end of the episode, so... Okay. And talking about Regina first, I think Zelina was... I think Zelina was right at the beginning of the episode, when she was like, Regina is someone who has, like... She's not... I don't, I don't think she's used to just grab her happiness, be happy... Be, like, being happy, I guess that's not... <sighs> Yeah, I think Regina needs to get used to that first. That was a very good first step, I think. Or maybe the good first step was talking to Snow, because that was, that was a highlight. That conversation at the end was amazing. Wow, I was caught, totally caught up in it. I loved that a lot, and I didn't even know that I wanted to see this, but I wanted to, and I loved it. M more of that. Give me more of that. Sorry. And now, I want Regina to be happy. First, wait a second. There was something I was... Scary. This jacket isn't even new. I've never worn it while at, uh, while recording, <laughs> and that's really scary. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, goodbye.